Hello and welcome back to On The Couch with Nikki, where I bring you experts for everyone. Many people face the daunting challenge of re-entering the workforce after a time out. Maybe it's from motherhood or traveling or just transitioning into a new role. Sadly, many people don't have the confidence to make the move. So who's with me on the couch today? I have Lillian Latto from Matchfit Consults here to share her experience, knowledge and perspective on how to navigate this journey. Lillian, many people leave their careers to come and begin their expat journey, but then after a certain period of time they think, oh I wouldn't mind re-entering back. Let's say somebody's decided I want to transition back into the workforce and mm -hmm. they've gone past all the logistics yep. and they're going to do it. Let's focus on emotionally, how do they mm. prepare themselves after a hiatus, mm. especially let's say with motherhood, you right. can feel a big disconnect from yeah. your industry. There's nothing wrong um, for mothers to want to work. So do people come and see you to try and make that decision? Do I go back or don't I? Or is it, I want to, how do I do it? Or is well, it both? It can be both, right? right? It could be a situation whereby an individual wants to go back to work because they need that for themselves, right? Yes. For whatever reason. Maybe yeah. financial. And absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, but again, it's um, some people don't know what they want to do. Mm. So we go through what we call, you know, explore and define coaching. Yes. Let's talk about what you're good at. What is it that you want to do? Where are your strengths? Where, yes. you know, where are the gaps? And then hopefully through some coaching that we can help them define exactly what is is that it, they want to transition into. It might not even be the career that they once had. It could Indeed. be something completely different. So there's Absolutely. like a process of discovery almost. Sure. Where let's talk about, do you want to go back to what you used to do? Yeah. Even though that might be your comfort zone, it might yeah. not be where your passion lies. There might be more opportunity to sure. do something else. So it's important to get professional guidance to yeah. guide them through yeah. the process. It's an opportunity. Yeah. You know, it's a real opportunity to assess oneself and decide, am I doing, mm. you know, what I truly love? Am I doing what my, you know, what my true purpose is? Am I doing, what are the reasons behind it? If there are bills to be paid, it might not be prudent to go into a whole new career path where you have to start off as a base salary, even though that might be where your joy and passion lies. So sure. people can feel a conflict. What do you find are the common barriers that people face in this journey? Confidence levels in terms of having an interview. Mm. Um, you know, what does my CV look like? Do you know what I mean? Totally, and even um, technology. Yeah. Like I know that I would think, what software are people using nowadays? I'm not going to know how to use the photocopier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a indeed. fax machine or yeah, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, how yeah, do people yeah. even get past yeah. that? Mm. There's always going to be a learning curve with a new company, new environment, new people, yes. new culture. It's all going to be brand new. So people need to understand that they need to take the pressure off themselves a little bit. And yes. Don't be so hard on yourself. Everybody's yeah. in the same boat. And also to draw on the skills that they have been using in their day-to-day -day yes. life. And that's just a shift in focus. So I think a lot of people can sort of grab hold of the fear element of things and that can hold them back. Sure, sure. So it's about moving that aside and yes, let's it is. focus on empowering yeah. yes. you to make the transition back. Absolutely. The negativity, um, not only from um, yourself in terms of I'm scared of doing X, Y and Z, yes. but you know, when people are making a transition, and, or they're transforming their career, which either which way it is, mm. there are people in their lives, and it could be the closest to them, that they're naysayers. Yes. Naysayers, they like what's happening right now. Yeah. They're comfortable with the way things are, and you want to change it? Do some people <laughs> find that perhaps their partner or spouse doesn't want them to transition back, and they do? And it might not just be the partner or the spouse, it could be the kids. So it's a big change for everybody. Yes. And people, generally speaking, as human beings, we don't like change. No. We like it the way it is. So your girlfriends, yeah. your, 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 your tribe, as it were. I, I mean, think there can be some friendship circles who may not take kindly to somebody going back into the workforce when they're not. Yeah, because you're going to leave me on the side. Yeah. And I'm going to have to go and do that thing that we've always done together for the last yes. year or however many years on my own. And yes. I don't feel good about that. So mm. I'm just going to project that onto you yes. and say, do you really think this is a good idea doing this now? Yeah. I think you should just be, you know, just calm it and stay as you are. Everything's good. You're happy. Everybody else in the family is happy. Why would you want to do that now? Yeah, totally. So I think there's a lot of different spiralled elements that Very need to be so. discussed to give somebody the focus they need to decide is this a good idea or not and yeah. if so 
how can I do it sure, smoothly sure. and yeah. with the most amount of confidence? When you're transitioning into any kind of role or you're trying to apply for new roles, the first thing people are going to see is what's out there physically. Yes. Do you know what I mean? So whether it's something like LinkedIn mm. or you know, any other social media platform, it doesn't matter what you do, it's you know, where where are people going to go to look like, you know, look for people like you. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And when they read what they see on LinkedIn, etc., then they're gonna make a judgment. But even LinkedIn. That wasn't around when I was in the workforce. So somebody transitioning back, all of a sudden there's this thing called LinkedIn. How do I navigate that? How do I even use it? So yeah. there, there is a big learning curve. There is a big learning curve. And that's why we we will help people with that. And we've uh, designed and formed a program called the Career Preparation Program oh. just for people like that, either transitioning in or transitioning out. And you know, we give you a, a perspective and we discuss what is it that you want to say? What is it that you want people to know about you? Yes. What's important? And how to cause impact within the content? Because from a hiring professional's perspective, that's what they're looking for. Mm. They're not looking for once upon a time, I was great at my role and, I, yeah. and this, that and the other. They don't want that. They want facts. They yes. want context. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So we help people build that into their CVs, their resumes, as they're called nowadays. Yes. <laughs> sort of thing. A lot of things would have changed out there anyway over a period of time, mm -hmm. even the way management are, are hiring, what questions they're asking, what are the interview techniques, what are the things that they look at? I think that from an interviewing perspective, that inter an interview is going to be an interview, and it doesn't matter if you had an interview 30 years ago or an interview two weeks ago. But maybe somebody was missing out on roles in the past because they didn't have a good interview style. Absolutely. So you can help with interview style Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Because of technology, people can access more information today about anybody they than just? ever before, right? I mean, right? they just do a name search on the computer and, you know, last Saturday night comes up, which <laughs> yeah. might not be... Which is very pertinent. Yes. Because again, you know, we have to be very mindful that technology is king. Because I hear this a lot, oh, you know, I can't find work here, I've, you know, it's really difficult. And it is difficult, I'm not denying that. Mm. But it's equally as difficult in your home country, yeah. you know. There are a few people where a role may literally land in their lap. Yeah. Yeah. And that's great, okay? But there are many more where it takes a lot more time. Yeah. It's difficult but not impossible. It's like anything, that's right. it takes determination and persistence. Yeah. Finding a role is a job in itself. Yes. And we will help you manage that process and prepare you for interviews, prepare you for the transition back into the workplace. Yeah. But it's also, okay. Now I have got the role I'm looking for. Yeah. What now? Yeah. Yet, because all those other feelings potentially come flooding back up. Oh my gosh, it was a Xerox and now it's something else. How yeah. the hell do I use that? But you've got to be really, really, really at the centre of whatever you're doing is they actually offered me this position because they believe in me. Yeah. So it's, only, it's about self-belief too and promoting that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So do you work with businesses as well? Absolutely, staff. absolutely. I mean, we not only do we perform coaching for them, executive coaching, mentoring, etc. There is another side to the business that looks at things like organisational development, leadership and management training, business mm. process re-engineering, all those HR consultancy. Okay. So there's a there is a business side as well. There's career preparation program that looks at their journey in terms of how do we get you back into work or how do we prepare you for your next promotion? How do we prepare you or help you? and support you through the journey of transitioning out of a business. So it's all about people and processing and transfer, transforming and transitioning them from point A to point B. Okay, so if somebody's sitting at home thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind just finding out a little bit more, they can just ring and have an initial consultation. Once a person has made a decision and wants to go down that route, then of course, we can literally hold their hand, as it were, yeah. um, to support them through that, that process. Okay, do people ever let go? <laughs> well, actually, some not. And the career coaching, regardless of your level, yeah. will help and support you make better decisions and manage yourself um, in, a, in a better way, in a more positive way, oh, uh, when in the place of work. Oh, awesome. If you're looking at transitioning back into the workforce but aren't sure how to go about it, give MatchFit Consults a call and they can help give you clarity surrounding every part of the journey. Thanks everyone, I'll see you next time. See you.
Thank you.